The figures show that the mayor of Hackney receives an annual pay of £75,000, but unemployment levels in Hackney are some of the highest in London. This means that for many families, even buying enough food can be a struggle. Three bananas, please. Yeah, Thank you. It's Monday, and local people are shopping in markets like this one in Hackney. To many people here, even the smallest price cuts can make a difference. And the idea that local councillors are having wage increases can come as a shock. If they are well qualified, yes, obviously they know what they're doing. And um, in return, probably they do deserve that kind of wage. They're not doing the job properly. Any of them don't seem to be do doing their job properly. And there's no one to hold them to account. No one to turn around and say to them, you know, this is wrong. I've never had anything to do with any councillors. I've never had any help from any. So, to me, I don't know what they do. So, a pay rise for what? I don't know. The standard pay of local executives in England has increased by 34%, according to the Audit Commission. The local Conservative leader in Hackney said that he has paid £23,000 a year for his part-time position. Well, councillors have been paid um, salaries of a sort for some time now, and I don't see much prospect of that system changing. Um, in the London Borough of Hackney, uh, pay increases have been determined by an independent, an independent panel, um, and they've followed the pay increases which have been awarded to local government employees, which seems like a fair way to do it. Uh, but I think if you're going to have um, paid councillors, then you have to expect that the pay will rise over time. The government said that although they could not freeze the pay of top local officials, more value for money is needed. Albina Kavalyova, Hackney.